बिल्कुल बिल्कुल गर्व की बात है जी बहुत खुशी की बात है इक्कीस साल बाद दोबारा हमारा जो वेट लिफ्टिंग फैमिली में खुशी आई है एंड एक इसकी बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत भी हमें क्योंकि बाकी जो स्पोर्ट्स में ओलंपिक में मेडल आने के बाद उसका जितना फायदा जो उनकी जूनियर बच्चों को मिला उतना हमें नहीं मिल पाया क्योंकि मेरा फर्स्ट मेडल था उस टाइम में इतना स्पोर्ट्स कल्चर नहीं था इतना स्पोर्ट्स के लिए बढ़ावा नहीं मिलता था एंड उस टाइम में इतना मीडिया इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया भी इतनी नहीं कवर करते थे अब सिचुएशन अलग है तो इस मेडल हमारे वेट लिफ्टिंग फैमिली के लिए बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है इसके साथ ही जो हमारे जूनियर वेट लिफ्टर्स है उनको बहुत ज्यादा प्रोत्साहन और मोटिवेशन मिलेगा the entire india our indian contingent in tokyo olympics and i'm sure the way you started on the day one the other athletes are going to follow this and they are also going to make the india proud borya majumdar is on the ground borya while this of course is a big achievement uh, what is happening in other events because you've been updating us those as well archery shooting hockey so much is on do tell us briefly about those events as well over to you borya Yeah, I'll say it's been a mixed day, Pooja. I mean, a huge high with, of course, uh, Meera Bai Chanu. A big disappointment with shooting because I thought, uh, you know, I'm still in the shooting range. I thought Saurav Chaudhary will win us a medal. Unfortunately, Saurav, uh, you know, collapsed under pressure in the final. Wasn't the best final after an incredible qualification of 5-8-6. So shooting was a mediocre day because you made a final, you didn't get a medal. So that's a disappointment. I thought the big high was in badminton. Satvik and Chirag taking out the world number 3 if they win one more in their group matches they will be one shot away from a medal which Pulela Gopichand has been telling me every single time I've spoken to him and when the draw came out I told him oh such a horrible draw world number 3 and he wrote to me medal coming so you know gopi if you are listening to this broadcast you told me this it's happening fingers crossed you know we had a we had a great outing in hockey we held on to our lead not many times have in the past india been able to hold on to multiple penalty corners uh, shrijesh was brilliant towards the end a fantastic win in hockey against new zealand manika batra just now winning her singles uh, in archery we crashed out in the quarter finals but it was expected against the world champion korean team tomorrow i want the shooting team to redeem themselves manu divyansh and the team and on the 27th i'm making a prediction saurav will redeem himself as well in the mixed event and get india a medal i stick my guns i stick to what i have said in the past this is the best indian contingent that i've seen in my years of covering sport which is about 25 30 years i have not seen a better contingent i will say this will be our best olympics we will cross london i am waiting for vikas krishan yadav's bout okay. against the japanese if he takes this fellow out which i think he will he will be up against a cuban now that cuban is moving up from 63 to 69 i am told vikas will take that fellow out or has a chance vikas has a chance of a medal amit thangal has a chance of a medal so puja fingers crossed keep praying keep backing olympic sport the positivity and this is a different kind of positivity has to be there in the country i'm delighted that the prime minister backed it i'm delighted that anurag backed it i'm delighted that the india today aaj ka group have sent four people on the ground to yes. do olympic sport this is a watershed if the country backs olympic sport like this i think the sky is the limit the world is our oyster what you're telling us is important borya because when if i think again about meera bai shanu and many other athletes but specifically those from manipur let's not forget that manipur is also a conflict zone area it's not an easy life there the governments don't always look or even the media towards northeastern states so to find talent find a mentor get training excel in it despite all the ups and downs in personal life then to also get a medal these are also important stories that must come to the fore borya Absolutely it's a story of identity. I mean if we in, in Bollywood we see popular portrayal think about Chak the India and how the northeasterners were portrayed. Correct. I mean think about that narrative. The think about the narrative are aap ye ho aap wo ho. I mean so this is a narrative this is the ground reality of India. So if you break down that narrative a man, a who who carried your flag yesterday tell me you, your flag was carried by a Mary Com a mother of four 
Now, if that is not the symbol of empowerment, what is? A psycho mirror by Chanu at 26 gets you a Correct. silver. Coming from where? 22 kilometers from Imphal. Now, if this is not the story of India shining and India empowerment and real decentralization of sport on the ground, then I don't know what is. And that gives me pride. This is not Indian cricket, where there are millions and millions of dollars yes. around. This is a story of struggle. This is a story of dream come true. This is a story of the girl next door becoming an Olympic champion. And of That's course, what makes inspiring me so many young women and of course men as well. Girls and boys who are watching history being made. Meera Bhai Shanu for making India proud. Thank you very much. Congratulations to her and her family. Borya, thank you very much. I'll come back to you shortly.